Making a compelling site for B2B brands is challenging, time consuming, and skill intensive, but don't worry. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of the best B2B sites out there to help you learn how you can optimize your own site. What's up? It's Jamal from HubSpot. As always, if you find this content useful, give it a like and subscribe to the HubSpot YouTube channel. In today's B2B marketing landscape, 67% of the buyer's journey is digital. And B2B buyers are typically 57% of the way to a buying decision before they actively engage with sales. In other words, your website is responsible for a whole lot of selling before a salesperson ever gets involved. Now, there are as many B2B sites as there are kinds of B2B businesses, but no matter if you provide commercial products, professional services, or technical solutions, there are key rules that apply to all successful B2B sites. First, your site should be well-designed. Second, it should convert users into quality leads or sales. Next, it needs speed and stability. And finally, it's gotta look great on mobile. A good looking, highly functional website is crucial to online success. And thanks to today's web building tools, you don't need to be a designer or coder to build a site that is visually pleasing and professional. The important thing is to focus on usability. Keep the design simple with no more than five colors and three easy to read typefaces in three different font sizes. Only use graphics if they help a user complete a task or perform a specific function. And maintain a visual hierarchy so that visitors naturally gravitate towards the most important elements first. And most importantly, plan out an intuitive navigation so that users can get from point A to point B with as little friction as possible. Stick with simple navigation at the top of the site and use a search bar to let users seek out what they're looking for. You can also use breadcrumbs to help users keep track of where they are on the site. It helps to build a wireframe map for your site so you can visually see how the navigation will work. Remember that design has to work for someone coming to your site for the first time. Now the second time, that's up for grabs. There, It's the wild west up there. No laws, no rules, anything goes. Do whatever you want. Even the best designers establish bias after working on a site for a few days, so it helps to rely on user testing tools like AtNC, UserFeel, and Hotjar. There are also services like the user is drunk and the user is my mom that will help you make sure that literally anyone can use your site. Now, let me tell you about my new service, the user is my dog. He's a good boy, he'll do a good job. One way to ensure that your site follows the basics of good web design is to use a template. HubSpot offers over 2,000 UX and UI optimized website and landing page templates that you can customize. There's a link in the description below. But what else can you do to make your website exceptional? Research has shown that it takes just 50 milliseconds or 0.05 seconds for a website to make an impression. It's literally a snap judgment. That's why most effective websites tell users something essential about the company from the instant they lay eyes on it. Pix.io shows a visual hierarchy of file types with abbreviations that any media professional will instantly recognize. Packlane uses a font and image that mirrors the sort of glossy consumer websites where their custom box and packaging customers imagine someday selling their product. Marketa pulls you into an animated world of dynamic high-tech payment solutions while Square uses portrait photography to convey its position as the payment solution for people who think they'd rather think about anything other than payment solutions. If you wanna see more great B2B websites, check out the link in the description below. You can really study how form and function work together to make an exceptional site. Having a website that tells something special about the brand or product makes a giant first impression. Now, it's time to convert that attention into action, a lead, or even a sale, just like a salesperson. There are many different ways a website can convert a customer, but most start with an entry point that starts the user down the funnel. Let's look at some of the best ones out there. NetBase Quid immediately directs users to relevant information on the site by asking, how can we help drive your business? The Auto does a similar thing, prompting visitors to tell them, I manage new vehicles, I manage used vehicles, or I manage wholesale. Notice in each of these cases, the website could present the same information as simple menus for the customer to navigate. The reason these entry points work is because they flip the dynamic from the user asking the company about their offerings to the company asking the user about their needs. No one likes to ask for help, but that's essentially what happens on most websites. Users are forced to ask their needs to be fulfilled by searching the site, hoping to find the info that they're looking for. With a well-designed entry point, you can make the customer feel like you're offering them help before they ask for it. You've literally incepted them. Good work. After answering the prompt, the users on both sites are taken to a product page with content specific to their needs. Each of these subpages are loaded with informational text and video content for users to explore. More importantly, they have a number of CTA buttons encouraging users to request a demo. CTAs can also include actions such as get a free trial or consultation, subscribe for updates, or download a report or ebook. Some sites might include a calculator tool to demonstrate what they can do for the user, while other CTAs can take you directly to a pricing page. 
Wherever your CTA leads, these are called landing pages and they're crucial for conversion. One HubSpot survey found that sites with over 30 landing pages generate seven times more leads than sites with just one to five landing pages. More quality leads, more sales, it's that simple. These techniques for generating leads and sales have been tested and proven on millions of websites. HubSpot knows they work because we use them ourselves, but testing is key and you might find the best solution for your business is none of the above. Take the example of this award-winning website for Kexelius. Kexelius is a portfolio manager and research provider working with institutional asset managers and foreign money authorities, but that is not on the homepage. Start at kexelius.com and the largest words by far are latest articles, followed by an animated scroll of the headlines for blog articles found on the site. We all know how effective blog content can be for driving inbound traffic to your site and how quality content can establish your brand as an authority that can be trusted. Excelis clearly took to heart the stat that says 80% of business decision makers prefer to get company information from a series of articles versus an advertisement. So instead of advertising facts like Excelis portfolio one year return 51.5%, they made it into an article headline. Once you start reading, the blog itself has a really slick infinite scroll with an unconventional left side list of additional articles. There's even a little line that shows you how far you have until the end of the article. What about a CTA, you ask? You didn't ask? Well, you will now because I incepted you. Well, since you asked, there's a contact us button placed unconventionally on the lower left hand side of every page. Breaking all the rules of site design like this isn't recommended for most businesses, but it shows that a little creative friction can be a great way to give the users a sense of surprise and delight. And we just want our dopamine receptors to go and pop off. Speaking of brain chemicals, do you ever get that frustrated feeling waiting for a website to load, even if it's just for a second or two? That's your dopamine receptors waiting for that sweet, sweet. And it's why speed is so important for your B2B website. How important you may ask? And you did ask, I know you did. Research has found that 47% of consumers expect a web page to load in two seconds or less. 40% of users will leave a website that takes more than three seconds to load. And even a one second delay can result in a 7% reduction in conversions. One study found that even one eighth of a second delay in load time could have a perceivable effect of winning or losing business. What's more, Google has been using site speed as part of its ranking algorithm since 2019, meaning a slow site can undo all the hard work you put into SEO. Fortunately, HubSpot offers our free website grader to help you optimize your site speed. There's a link below. Speed, engagement, and design are all crucial to B2B website success, and they all come together for the final category, mobile. There's no denying that mobile is the dominant platform when it comes to B2C customers, but does it really matter for B2B customers? The answer is yes. Here are some facts. Research found that 80% of B2B buyers are using mobile at work, and more than 60% report that mobile played a significant role in a recent purchase. Perhaps most significantly, mobile influences 40% of revenue for leading B2B organizations. So how do you make a mobile first site, and who does it the best? Well, let's take a look. Website speed is even more important for mobile than desktop since mobile connections aren't as fast. A 2019 study found that the average web page takes 88% longer to load on mobile versus desktop. The lighter the load, the faster the load time. That's why Grammarly gets praised for its flat design that minimizes interaction, but still looks and works great. And I'm sure you're thinking, Grammarly? More like, wow, what a great looking website. Just as important as speed is responsiveness. Responsive means your site looks correct on desktop, mobile, tablet, vertical, horizontal, everywhere. Card-based design has become extremely popular for this reason, mostly in media and e-commerce sites. So it also makes perfect sense for e-commerce B2B sites like Flexfire LEDs. Other B2B websites that have won awards for responsiveness include business intelligence provider Joyhub from the Netherlands, e-commerce provider Linkstore from India, and UserZoom from the United Kingdom. There are thousands of other great B2B websites that we could highlight here. If you want your business to be one of them, just remember to focus on, first, your site should be well-designed. Second, it should convert users into quality leads or sales. Next, it needs speed and stability. And finally, it's gotta look great on mobile. And if you wanna go deeper, check out the links below to find more ways you can improve your B2B site to make it one of the best. That being said, mine will still be the best because I incepted you to think so. This is clearly a power that I wield irresponsibly. I'll see you in your site soon. <laughs> and thanks to today's web, and thanks to, and thanks to today's, and thanks to today's,